True. It's you guys that are, you call yourselves the new 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 wave UG. Do it for that. Uh, do it for your country and push it out there. Okay. Be the change that you want to see. How you can trust nobody? Tell me why you be so bitter. Yeah. Do you wanna see some magic? Yeah. Look at my crypto figure. Yeah. Double up, it's automatic. Really, I ain't no drug dealer. Yeah. Got it out the mouth, I'm dirty. Yeah. Head of me. Catch me on a platter, man, that is a day. Handling my business, I'm a businessman. Got a couple fans up in London. That's so clean, man. That's so clean. What the fuck? I myself just met a guy today and told him, you know, okay, okay, he'll be like, what? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. And so it was mainly a basic thing to know everyone in the circle, look at each other, understand who was who. And at the same time, bro, we're here to make music. And, bro, guys, guys can spit. That's the crazy thing. Guys, guys come with it. That's the good thing about it all. I think, like, there was a point in the house where we were like 30. We were like 30 rappers. Like, guys I've never seen in my life, but bro, kids are in Uganda, bro. What the fuck? Guys, guys, right? shit, it's a different race. I got them tripping and they wondering how this Mutono nigga do it without a lace. You can ask Shorty because she got a taste. Actually, she got a little bit more than that. I am the truth and she knows it's a fact. Holy verses inside every quote, but to most of the masses, all they see is rock. Look at the game, it's in need of a save. As a doctor, my prescription is the new wave. Look at the light at the end of the tunnel, but what do you do when you inside a cave? N nigga, I'll bear with it, promise. I was really blown away. But the shit fuck that. Some guys have never and this guy's like hardcore rap, bro. Whatever's gonna come out from this is, man, some people are gonna watch this and believe. That's the main thing, believe. Because I remember the first time we had um, a listening party for First Take Volume 1. I thought so many guys who just never wanted to do this. But we're doing it like in, in all of like their bedrooms, you know, coming out. Jesse is one of them. I met Jesse that day. And look at where we are right now, you know? And the new wave is growing, bro. Like, so many guys in this, but they just feel like they don't have a voice. Now this is the voice, man. New wave UG, bro, we are out here. We are so out here, my guy. <laughs> Chopping every day, shit in the kitchen all day, and we're cooking heat. Who's around in the cooking? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. So, some artists. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> How are you, man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm chilling, bro. You were the you were the reason why you would happen. So how does that come about? Like explain that. Well, new wave, right? Yeah. I mean, we've how heard. The idea, the idea, come up. How did the idea come up? Okay, I'm just gonna start from like a basis of how I thought about it when I was sleeping. <laughs> so <laughs> it all started. Yeah. I think it all started with the force. Stop with the hate, though. I'm trying to change the regime like idiot mean. If you know what I mean. The only difference is I'll keep it clean. The end. That's how it all started, like that idea of how bringing a collective, collective people to just come together and make music. Yeah. It all started with the idea, with the force. For me, it was more of like, I wanted us to, to have fun. I wanted us to do shit that's never been done. But the goons, <laughs> these goons took it to the next level where I could not expect it to be this way, the way it is now. I could not expect it to be like that. For me, I was just like, yo, man, we're coming here to record with some goons, have fun, and go home. But the outcome of that day, <laughs> you need to hear it, but you know? Well, at some point, I'm doing this, I just walked in, yeah? Pressure. Bro, pressure. <laughs> ah, shit. But I think I walked in and I found, like, Mutono, like, like recording that verse of, um... I think this shit is a different race. What's this song called? Of Dark Flow. Dark Flow. Yeah. So like I saw him like record the take and it's like na 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 na. Like wait, let's do it again. And it sounded like a good take to me. So I was like, hey, niggas here ain't playing. The last time I felt that same energy was when Four Homies was doing 
their shit. So, like, seeing people who... 50 people actually vibing with each other and doing something like that was crazy. And also seeing um, 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 people who... Like black light, sing, sing. Um, I bled. Those guys would just come on the mic, and everyone is like, <laughs> I think I need to do better. <laughs> so, like, yeah, that's 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 the vibe I wanted. Like, I wanted people to feel challenged, like, not bring their normal self. like this is not what you're trying to do. We're trying to bring music to another level. Yo, this was the most creative thing I've ever seen, bro. Because I, I got this message at midnight, the day before my boy told me, bro, come on, man, let's go. Let's show them what's up. And I'm like, this is Wale. Hey. <laughs> Wale, bro. Okay, Wale. I call him Wale. Yeah. And he sent me the beat pack, and I'm like, bro, hey. The moment I told Cahill that he immediately went to the socials and just, you know, posted about it that, you know, New Wave, New Wave UG is happening on Wednesday, so whoever can come can come and boom, it happened just like that. I got a whole bunch of energy. Skinny from the east, ain't a nigga like me. This nigga bitch is like the Mona Lisa. Ain't no competition, I'm a masterpiece. Black on black, K I N G. No decision, gotta kill it on that one, two, three. I ain't fucking with the rubber on the face, she looking childish. You know your girl, she like me. Monta, you come about it. Monta, pie to the party. Monta, come about it. Monta, pie to the party. I got the, I got the. Mm. I bring the, I bring the woo, woo. Huffing and puffing with crew. Spitting that shit leave you blue. Saucing that shit call it stew. Lit with dogs bring the woo. Went off to the plug, but you know he like a socket. This right here is super sun. Went up to the moon just like a rocket. Always find some residue of shub in my pocket. Went up to the blood, but you know we like a socket. Orange style, curry, homie, you don't know about it, dog. Tunnel vision, that's for everyone around me. Whipping through the storm when the time was looking cloudy. I got my bro back, yeah, that boy, he never doubt me. If you cross that line, you gon' see that we about it, dog. Imagine having. Um, how can I put it? Producers from from different settings, different backgrounds, all coming together to like make this one tape. This one in nine hours, by the way. It just came. All these producers came over to like submit their work. Some couldn't be there physically, but they dropped their beats. And the, when you think about that, really, in um, in when you get deep into that motion, it's really it's inspiring because. When you think about it, it doesn't happen that goons come together and make something happen. Normally, goons just want to take the spotlight and have all the spotlight to themselves. But what happened is these goons, or these producers, they shared the, the resources they had, from the equipment to the mics and everything, the beats, you know, the resources that they had, they shared it together to come up with this one solid thing, New Wave UG. And that's how New Wave UG came out right now. Strong. You know? That's strong. You know? Right. Gotta go hard these days, right. you know? <laughs> um, who were you excited to see then? Personally. Damn. Who was that? Um, there was Mutono. I would say Mutono. Yeah, it's probably, it was probably Mutono, bro. <laughs> that was the fourth time Mutono. <laughs> that guy is crazy. Hey. Yeah. The lyric is sufficient bail. All these individuals keep telling me they fill in the lyrics, so I consider it as braille. And it makes sense if you think about it, cause we always out of sync, but they see the light in the music without fail. This arena's bracket, cause this shit don't hit the same. I do it for the hell of it. I consider him to be an OG. You get here, yeah. so I respect him. He's like a hard guy to me, so. The whole four homies, the, the project, bro, was really crazy. 
Amazing, amazing. Yeah, it opened up my career, man. Um, what was your favorite station and why? Let's <laughs> go. My favorite station was probably... Upstairs. The up station? Huh? I would say Cavani. Up. The down station was about bouncing people's verses. <laughs> That's assured. I felt a vibe like when the lower studio too, because like I witnessed like some like verses <laughs> doing good at like... to bring artists artists you know artists are so they have ego some of them are proud it's hard to bring artists to come together and just do one shit for the love of music and that shit is really it's motivational because now everyone is really hungry people were jumping on tracks we're jumping on beats people are literally lining up behind the mic like when am i getting mines in so, and i said hearing people freestyling and people recording their verses and i was like wow uh, I said re- like retreat to my own shell because it's really crazy. scary. Never recollect my thoughts. This is not facade. They call me close to God. I remember back then chilling with this little broad. The whole day I was depressed because like guys were way better than me, man. I'm like, come on, man. Why am I? Okay. Like I don't have a verse that is like up there. Then something just hit me. I was outside. The beat was kept on playing in my head, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just jump on, just give it a uh, knock. Because most people say like they don't have space to create music. Like the whole thing of New Wave is to remove boundaries and seeing that we could actually record 20 songs with 50 on, on, on the mic, bro, that's crazy because like that's now inspiring to be an industry or something like that. So like, I was so happy that we could actually set up three stations. Um, shout out to the producers, uh, Kehill Beats, um, Cavalli. New Wave was a great idea. It had to be done and I'm happy that we did this stuff. And well, I, like, I can say like years from now, there's like people who could not have been hard, I can say, mm. or could not have been like inspired or motivated. Mm. But because they were there for this, they saw that actually we can do this thing. Like it just like begins with your love for a thing, like the passion, like for music. I can say in this, I, uh, in this, in this sense right now because I'm speaking of the new wave. Like it just like begins with you, and like on that day, man, it was just. Like it began like any other day, like no one knew we were all going to come, who is going to come, and it's actually going to be great with some hot songs of that day. But yeah, man, we came and made it happen, and yeah, so nine that hours, was great. That was really one great. One house, three stations, <laughs> it's not easy. Artists. Bro, it's not easy. What do you have to say? This is one hell of an accomplishment, to be honest, guys. Like, let's be real. Let's, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I personally think when this project drops, when this project drops, trust me, you'll be amazed. Like, it's sorry for the wait, but trust me, you'll be amazed. We had like a short talk of how we have just made history. Like, we have just made something that has never been done in Africa. I'll say Africa. Proudly, I'll say Africa. Like all the artists, the new wave, because like we're starting something here, by the way. I won't lie. To those who missed out, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. 
But at the same time, now you know what's going to happen. You know what's happening. So, yeah, just just be just keep your head keep your head up. Just keep watching because there's a lot of great stuff coming out. Three tracks have already been released. That's just from the new wave album. And individually, I'm sure there's hella hella tracks that are going to come out. And yeah, I'm already blown. Just my mind is blown just thinking about it. That's yeah. Describe the new wave. Ruckus. Scratching at the walls, but it's a cold heart hustle. Feeling weak, no power in my muscles. Been trying to fall asleep, but with all this emotion, I press. Wish I could just shuffle. Deal and get a card saying life without sorrow, live it up and live large. Man, sometimes I wonder why I just don't get in a coma so I don't have to feel this pain no longer. Man, wish I was under some kind of trance or dream so when I wake up, it'll all be over. Or shoot me in the head, bash it in with a boulder. Cause lately I can't stand all this weight on my shoulder. My dad's a monster, beating up my mom and his daughter. School life is getting Harder. Psychological torture, I'm addicted to drugs Cocaine just won't work, I feel my mind beginning to lurk Away from common sense Porn is my daily trend, I'm jumping over the fence To sleep with girls I barely know to fill my emptiness Oh my, my loneliness, this complex brokenness What was your favorite session? That's the favorite question, right? My favorite session was upstairs Upstairs, upstairs. 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 definitely Reason? That there was a bed <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel the pain surging 